Naomi Campbell was the first black supermodel. This girl from South London came from nowhere and conquered the world. Since the age of 15, her image has been everywhere and sold everything. But has it all gone to her head? Stories of tantrums, unprofessional conduct and arrogance have recently tarnished her image. Her former agency, Elite, claimed they sacked her, but Naomi's agreed to an exclusive interview with Eurotrash to set the record straight. I should like to know something about gossip, some gossip about you and your well, agency. No, Tell me gossip. what happened. <laughs> I just left my agency and um, wanted to go somewhere else. And um, my, my ex-agent, I'm not going to endorse anyone, got upset and said he fired me. But models can't be fired. We pay them to work for us. We're self-employed and we own ourselves. So that was really a silly statement. But I don't really have anything bad to say about Elite or anything. Um, I just wanted to change. Something else that she might want to change is this unauthorised biography, which continues the recent trend of Naomi bashing. She got bits of information from papers over the years. She interviewed people that don't even know me, that have names that I've never heard of. So I just think that it's just a book to make a quick buck. And I couldn't care less. <laughs> the book goes into sordid details about Naomi's alleged relationships with Mike Tyson, Robert De Niro, Sylvester Stallone, and even Eric Clapton. But Naomi's current affections seem to be for one man only. Very indiscreet question. What are you looking for in a man? Tell me. In a man, I'm looking for intelligence, love, and affection. <laughs> That's all? Yep, the West I'll keep to myself. Because <laughs> my man knows what it is. So you are marrying? I am engaged right now, yeah. Oh, so when should it be, the wedding? Um, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> Next year, so maybe something around maybe. that? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> you can tell the name of your fiancé? Adam Clayton. <laughs> what is he doing? Um, he's not in fashion, no. No, as you all know, he's a bass player in you too. Si bon de Naomi's interest in the music world is not just a romantic one. She's just landed herself a recording deal and is currently working with PM Dawn on songs to be released in the near future. And no, that's not her singing, it's Eartha Kitt. It's not surprising that Naomi is looking to her future at the end of the catwalk. A supermodel can only look super for so long. The average lifespan is five years. Naomi's been around for six. And when you've spent so long at the top, well, it seems an awful long way down. What do you think about the fact that now, like, supermodel, I like uh, the new uh, star, you know? I like more, even more than rock star or that actress. The media have put us there. And why do you think that? I guess because they think our life is so glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe because also they see you a lot in covers and more than stars sometimes. Yep. And I want to ask you a question. Mm? What do you think of us so-called supermodels? I think that you are not that bad. Do you think I can be also a supermodel? Absolutely, you're a super too late, designer. No? <laughs> no, not at all, never. So maybe another thing, may I ask you, should you be OK to present with me maybe an oral trash one time? We'll discuss later. <laughs> we'll discuss later. So thank you, Naomi. Thank you.